welcome back to Homer Joy's Done It. My name's Andy, and uh, I've got a new toy has arrived in the post today. From uh, I say new, I'll tell you right now, it's it is second hand. You can't buy the 10.1 uh, in the UK at the moment, so I've had to buy one off somebody that went to Google I/O. Uh, this is the 32 gig version. Um, it just arrived today in the post. The box probably a bit smaller than I thought it might be. Um, slightly smaller than the advent box, I think. So we're just going to take a, a first look at it today in this video. So it's not brand new, but it's been packaged back up again. Um, it's got sort of Android an Android uh, backing, white backing. So we see the camera at the top there with the flash. The microphone port, volume rocker and the power, speaker I believe, charging point, and another speaker. And then on the front you can see the uh, camera there as well. Well, let's come back to that in a second, just have a quick look at what's in the box itself. Nothing too exciting. Is there anything else underneath that? No, so it's just uh, a tray with So the interesting thing I'll try my um obviously that's the charger the USB cable. Same as was used for the original Galaxy Tab, I believe. So yeah, I'm just wondering if the connector I've got for my um, Galaxy S2 will be the same, and I can maybe just use that. We shall see. So that's the box. Let's take a quick first look at the actual actual device. First thoughts are, it does feel quite light. Um, it definitely feels sort of solid and and well made. I know a lot of people don't like the plasticky feel of their phones. I wouldn't suggest this has a plasticky feel to it by any means. Let's try to get this back cover off else. Okay, so. I've um, just logged myself into Wi-Fi into my Google account. So I quit a look through. It feels pretty smooth. Using the keyboard when um, I was logging things in, it seemed quite good. Although when I went, okay, it's done it that time. So it wouldn't, it didn't change, um, didn't change to portrait when I wanted to try the keyboard that way. And as we know. Hopefully by now the the widgets are sort of interactive on the screen. At this point I don't really know where I'm going just yet with uh Okay, so those are the only apps I have. Fair enough. It all seems pretty smooth to me. The screen itself looks very clear. Don't know how well you guys can really see on the video. But that's kind of a cool market view. Whoa, what happened there? How do I get rid of those? Go away. Okay, so they're interactive as well. well that's very slick. Okay, let's say. How do I search? Oh, the big bit at the top says search, I'm guessing. This 
Let's do a little iPad and have a quick look at that. Kindle updated, okay. So I have to say, I think this looks pretty slick, the, uh, hammer, the, the honeycomb interface. Updates for, my goodness, I think it just, whoa. They just gonna need some uh, some getting used to. Okay, Google Maps, yes. So let's not install my oh these ones I've had on other other devices I think. Okay, right, where's this notification bar I might need some getting used to as well. But that screen, it does look very good. Right. Okay. So it looks like you, you tap literally on the the icon that you want. You don't get up a whole full notification bar. Well, here we are in iPlayer. Okay, we need Adobe Flash Player, of course. I would like Adobe Flash Player. Now you guys might remember, I did have an Advent Vega. I, uh, where is my back there? Wait, is that actually installing or not? Yes, it is. Installed. Um, so, I had an Advent Vega. Didn't particularly get on with it. Well, I mean, it was a good device, but the viewing angles were terrible. But, I mean, there's a whole world of difference with this screen. Um, with the Vega, if you didn't have it exactly at the right position, it went all grey. Now, I can tell you, I can still see that pretty good from even even down here. So why is this not actually playing? What are we doing wrong? What's that up there? Oh, this is part of the app. Fair enough. I don't know why that's not playing. Oh, it's gradually coming back. So it seems a bit odd there's not hardware buttons, but I think I would I'd get used to them using the ones down here instead. I hope. Right, let's not mess around with that too much longer. Let's see what can we how can we get to play some music? The keyboard seems pretty good, seems quite responsive. Like I said, everything seems to be slick, it's, it's coming in and out of everything very smooth. Got the notification bar at the bottom. Actually installed Napster. Oh, oh. So that doesn't look, that's, that's perhaps an example of how, uh, how bad an app can look. It's not really using the screen real estate. So, just to get an idea of these speakers. That's not too bad. I'm playing something from a playlist, it doesn't really, it just plays that one track, so I'm trying to skip to the next. Anyway, so that's uh, that's just a quick look. We get out. There we go. Just a quick look over the Galaxy Tab. It feels fairly light, as I mentioned, but solid. So I've been holding it all this time, but you know, doesn't. It's not been an ache or anything like that. Um, the interface, I think the interface feels very smooth. Um, how do we add? 
how this looks. So let's see. We want to put a clock on. How do we do that? That's it. Simple as that. Oopsie. Let's go through my different widgets. Oh, I see it zooms in if I hold over it. Aha, it zooms in and I can position it. If I don't want it, there we go, ah, cool. Alright, anyway, so, there we have it. The Galaxy Tab 10.1, I'm rather impressed. Uh, it does seem, I've paid £500 for this, we don't know quite what the UK price will be when it comes over here. Um, so it's twice as much as I paid for the Advent Vega, but you do have to wonder it probably is worth it because it's something I feel I can use. Whereas the Vega, I just can't. I just wasn't interested with the the poor screen. It just really put me off. Um, so of course, in due time, there will be a review on Hemajoys.net. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for it. My name's Andy. Hemajoys.net.